Do Donald Trump's comments about North Korea add up to a declaration of war? According to North Korea's foreign minister, the answer is yes, but the White House disagrees. Here's what Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders had to say today. We've not declared war on North Korea, uh, and frankly, the suggestion of that is absurd. As for North Korea's foreign minister accusing Trump of declaring war, those comments were not made here in North Korea. Instead, the remarks came on U.S. soil. Speaking in New York City, the rep from North Korea saying his country has the right to countermeasures, including shooting down U.S. bombers even when they're not inside the North airspace. Perhaps a nod to this. American aircraft flying over waters east of North Korea over the weekend in a show of force. The Pentagon saying it's the farthest flight north of the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea by any U.S. fighter jet in the 21st century. The mission disclosed just before North Korea's foreign minister addressed the United Nations General Assembly touching on Trump. None other than Trump himself is on a suicide mission. That a direct response to Trump's remarks days earlier at the very same podium. Rocket man is on a suicide mission for himself. And on the sidelines of the UN gathering, the foreign minister saying Friday his country could test a hydrogen bomb over the Pacific. Today, the U.S. Secretary of Defense reacting to the threat. This would be a shocking display of irresponsibility toward global health, towards stability, towards non-proliferation. And out of Japan today, that country's prime minister calling a snap election, in part to seek support for a tougher stance towards North Korea, after the reclusive nation recently launched weapons over Japanese territory. Now, earlier we showed you a clip from today's White House press briefing. At that briefing, a reporter asked about Donald Trump's tweets in the last 72 hours up until today's briefing. He'd tweeted a ton about football, about taking a knee. He'd also tweeted about North Korea, about those comments from the foreign minister at the UN. But one thing that Donald Trump had tweeted about in that time frame, Puerto Rico. I want to show you someone who is tweeting about Puerto Rico. Of course, that area hard hit by Hurricane Maria. Andrew Cuomo, he's the governor of New York. Of course, New York has a very vibrant Puerto Rican population. He says, stop arguing with football players. Stop trying to take health care from the poor. Puerto Rico needs our help.